Okay, so let's continue. Um, if a voltage of uh, 100 volts produces a current of 5 amperes in an electrical device, what is the resistance? Okay, so resistance, the formula of the resistance is equal to voltage divided by the current, okay, or V over I. So that is 100 volts divided by 5 amperes, okay? So 100 divided by uh, 5, that is 20 ohms, right? So the answer here is uh, letter B, okay? There you go. Okay, so number 45, which of the following best differentiates an earthquake's intensity from its magnitude? Okay, intensity talks about um, the damage and uh, while magnitude talks about the strength. Okay, the strength of the earthquake. Okay, so number one, it is described the depth. No, no, letter B, intensity cannot be measured while magnitude. No, intensity refers to the strength of the quake and refers to the degree of destruction. No, ah, yeah, letter D, the intensity is a measure of how much damage an earthquake can cause. Yeah, damage. Okay, and magnitude is the strength. There it goes. So that is this letter D. Next one, number 46. Comparing the speed of sound in liquids and gases. Okay. Um, uh, sound in liquids, gases, and solids. The speed of sound is usually lowest in and uh, highest in. Okay. So in this part, the speed of sound in solids uh, travel faster. Okay. I mean, the speed of sound in solids are faster than in uh, the gases. Why is that so? Because in uh, solids, the particles are closely packed and the sound waves can travel from one particle to another immediately. Okay, so it takes a shorter time. While um, the in gases, the particles are far away from each other. So it takes time for the sound wave to travel from the uh from one particle to another okay so that's the difference so that means in gases are lowest and in solids are in highest okay so that's the first one is gases and the, se the second one is solids okay lowest in gases and highest in solids okay there you go number 47 which is a greater which has a greater density a lake full of water or a cup full of water okay so they're just the same Okay, so they're just the same, the density. It's just the same as asking question, like, which is uh, heavier, a kilo of sugar or a kilo of nail? Okay, so that's the same. Next one. That's letter D. Next one, a stainless steel spoon feels colder than plastic spoon because stainless steel absorbs less heat less than particle. plastic does. It's really colder than plastic. And... Has lower temperature than plastic and conducts heat away from the. Okay, so that's letter D. Why? Um, because uh, steel are good conductors of heat and electricity, while plastics are insulators or non not good or poor conductors of electricity and heat. So that means why is it colder to uh, when you hold both plastic and uh, stainless uh, spoons? Why is it called? Uh, why is it that the stainless spoon is colder? It's because it takes uh, heat from your hand. It takes uh, what says? It immediately takes heat from your hand. That's why it feels cold. Okay, it's an exothermic uh, exothermic phenomenon where the heat leaves from your hand and goes out to be absorbed by the steel. It's just the same as like putting alcohol on your hand. It's also another example of exothermic reaction where the heat is removed from your hands, okay? There you go. So that's letter D. Remember, plastics are insulators and uh, steel are conductors. Next, why is it not advisable to repeatedly open the door of a refrigerator? Why is that so? Because um, it does not actually damage the, what's this? It does not actually damage the refrigerator, but it uh, makes the refrigerate, refrigerator inefficient in, uh, uh, less efficient, I'm sorry, or inefficient. It is because the warm air outside will reduce the temperature, or lowers the temperature, or reduce the, yeah, the, actually, reduce the temperatures inside the refrigerator that makes the refrigerator less efficient, okay? What kind of mirror is used in uh, cars to give the driver a wider area and smaller image of the traffic behind him or her? 
Okay. So, is it double concave? Uh, double concave? Convex plane or concave? Okay, so it's convex. Why? Convex lens uh, turns large images into smaller image. Okay? While concave um, uh, lenses or mirrors uh, change the image from small to big. Okay? Small, smaller to bigger. I'm sorry. That's uh, the explanation there. So it's convex mirror. Okay? Next one. Why do we hear thunder? Uh, thunder some seconds after seeing lightning. Okay, the reason there is that light travels faster than the sound. Or light waves travels faster than the sound waves. Okay, always remember that. So that's why when someone uh, shot a person like kilometers away from you, you will uh, see the light first before hearing, uh, before you hear the sound. Okay, so that's the reason why. Because light waves fa uh, travels faster than the uh, sound wave. Next one. Yeah, it's letter B. Next one, 52. Water is higher, has a higher specific heat than iron. What does this mean? Okay, always remember that um, although both are uh, good conductors of heat, okay, good conductors of heat and electricity, but the thing is, uh, water has a higher specific heat is because it takes time for uh, the water to, to heat compared to the metal or the iron. Okay? Always remember that. So, water heats more slowly than iron. So, that's letter D. Okay? Remember that always. Next one, if a colorblind man marries a woman who has a normal vision and no history of disease. Okay? Normal vision. Okay? It is most uh, probable that all of their children, all of their blank daughters will be carriers, mm, can be, because all female are, this one, color blindness is a sex link uh, genetic disease, okay, or hereditary disease. Now, letter B, daughters will be color blind, no, uh, they're just carriers. Son will be carriers, no, that, that uh, the sons will not be carriers because the mother is normal. Okay, not all will be carriers. I mean, not all. And they cannot be carriers. They they can be normal or colorblind only. Sons will be colorblind. No, because the the mother is normal, as I've said. So that means one of them or two of them or three of them will be normal. Okay. Not all, but for sure, daughters will be carriers because if they all have daughters, all of them will be carriers, not colorblind. Okay, because they're female, and female are are uh, carriers of sex link. Uh, hereditary disease which is color blindedness okay there you go next albino corn seedlings may grow several inches tall however they will even will they will eventually die primarily because okay so as of now there are lots of people or the plantitos and plantitas who are really uh, into variegated plants and variegated plants this one explains here we have albo or the albino plants and the aurea which are which are uh, yellow variegated plants. Now, these variegations actually, or the albo or the albino, actually dies immediately. I mean, this part of the leaves, or if the leaves are full moon or half moon uh, variegated, they will eventually die. I mean, like, they, it will take uh, lesser time or shorter time for them to, to stay alive. It is because one of the reasons there is they don't have any photosynthesis, they don't have any chloroplast or chlorophyll or chloroplast which is the site of photosynthesis and they cannot make their own food, okay? The rex will destroy themselves, they lack adequate root system, they cannot produce their own food they, okay, so that's letter C, they cannot produce their own food because they don't have, they lack chloroplast, okay? There you go, that's why there is no such thing as like truth, like you have to uh, let your plant stay outside so the variegations would appear, no it's not, because if they have also variegation and then you let them stay you want them to be more uh, to be prettier and you want them to have like the a very nice half moon and full moon variegation you have to let them stay outside the sun but the thing is it will just like kill this uh or I mean like uh wilt or kill this leaves with strong variegations okay there you go next mimosa pudica locally known as makaya is called 
as such because it le uh, its leaflets tend to close when touched. This original response to given stimuli is called okay. So the response you have different uh, stimuli, okay? Uh, uh, sunflowers are photo uh, observes the phototropism because they always observe sunlight. And the roots we have we have two kinds of roots. We have aquatic and uh, terrestrial roots. Terrestrial roots are geotrope. Uh, observes geotropism or these roots always goes to the uh, soil whereas the aquatic roots they are hydrotropies uh, they observe hydrotropism because they are they love water okay hydrotropism is water and geotropism is soil and phototropism is sunlight tegmotropism is this uh, mimosa pondica reflex okay tegmotropism the bending of plant parts Okay, what factor was a major uh, cause of both World War One and World War Two? So, okay, so this one is both World War One and World War Two. Remember that. Um, there are actually like causes of uh, what says there are causes of World War One and World War Two, and be economic. Or it can be like uh, militarism. Okay. Anyway, so spread of Marxist Martian ideas into Europe? No, it's not, because World War uh, One and World War Two don't talk about Marxism. Okay, and World War One was caused by the Serbia or Bosnian and Serbian uh, conflict, the killing of Saint uh, No Francis Duke Francis Ferdinand. Okay, but uh, of Bosnia Herzegovina by a student, a Serbian, a Serbian student. Yeah, that causes the World War One, and World War Two was caused by um, the occupation and I mean, the expansion of Germany. Anyway, so uh, the dropping of atomic bombs. This is uh, in Japan, and that's in World War Two. Nationalism, national borders. No, it's World War Two. The rise of totalitarian fascist states. Yeah, both of them. That's uh, I mean, like both World War One and Two uh, was caused by the rise of totalitarian fascist or military states. Next one, units organization in the Philippines, a member to fight communist aggression. Okay, so this organization actually was created to fight communism in Southeast Asia, okay, Southeast Asia, and it failed, I think, on the countries like Vietnam and Laos, okay, anyway, it's Seattle or Southeast Asian, Organiz uh, Southeast Asian Treaty Organization, which aimed to uh, fight the, the spread of communism in Southeast Asia, and that's letter D, okay. UN, of course, is United Nations, or it was like, formerly it was called League of Nations with 55 members, wherein the first members include the, included the Philippines. APEC is Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. This is just purely economic. Okay, there you go. Next one, the theory that population increases by geometrical uh, ratio, while well, the means of subsistence increases by arithmetical ratio is attributed to its Malthusian theory. Okay, so Robert Malthus. Malthus. That's letter B. In what instance is the Filipino double standard uh, morality shown? Okay, so let's check. A couple brings their sick child to a doctor, then later to a spiritista. No. Next one. Illiterate parents are eager to send their children to school even if uh, they themselves did not go to school. Oh, young parents bring up their children in a manner different from how they were brought up. And a married man who flirts with someone else other than his wife seems acceptable, but a married woman who flirts with another man is condemned. Yeah, this one is, letter D is the one. Okay, double standard. It's just okay with men, but not okay with women. Yeah? Okay, which part of Asia does the Arabian uh, Peninsula occupy? Okay, uh, Arabian Peninsula or parts of the Middle East, anyway. So, it's southwest. Okay, southwest. Letter C. Southwest. The important factors have, uh, which have contributed to contributed to the weakness in the internalization of desirable values is they. Okay, usually values are transferred depending on those role models we have. Okay, like parents and teachers. 
lack of models among the very uh, people expected to exemplify these values yes there you go if there are if uh, these models or people who are uh, if these people who are models of these values are lacking uh, the transfer of these values will be hard i mean like only few will will learn this kind of values okay so that's letter a Next one. Next one, the term that refers to the class of Filipinos who were free and independent. Okay, so they are Timawas. Okay. The Spanish expedition responsible for naming the archipelago Filipinas. Magellan's expedition named the Philippines as Las Islas de San Lazaro. Loarca, or Legaspe, and Villalobos. Okay, so it's Miguel Lopez de Villalobos. Okay. Expedition that named the Philippines as Filipinas in honor to uh, Prince Felipe. The third and last military governor of the Philippines was okay. So we have three military governors, American military governors of the Philippines. The first one was Wesley Merritt, followed by uh, General Elwell uh, Otis and General Mac uh, Arthur MacArthur. Okay. So it's letter C. It's in order with Merit, Otis, and MacArthur, not General Douglas MacArthur. Okay. So the answer here, the last and the third, is Arthur MacArthur. That's letter C. Which Katipunan member commuted from Cavite to Manila to buy materials used to make ammunition? It's Agida Esteban or Esteban. Next one. Which economic system is based on free enterprise? This is free market economy, so that's capitalism, okay? Capitalism, free market and uh, free enterprise. That's letter C. How is the so-called colonial mentality manifested? Cultural relativism, cultural diversity, xenocentrism, ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism is love of one's culture. Xenocentrism is love of other people's culture. So that's colonial mentality, okay? Xenocentrism, that's manifested in xenocentrism, the colonial mentality. That's letter C. Next one, which is a safeguard against unfair trade practices. Unfair trade practices, of course, is consumer vigilance. Letter C. Next one, if the seven continents were arranged from largest to smallest, in which order does Australia fall? Okay, so this is according to... According to... Uh, which is the size or the land area we have the first Asia followed by Africa third North America five uh, fourth is South America and then followed by the fifth Antarctica this is Europe and seventh is Australia is the last okay so that's seventh that's letter D next one in which continent can we find Stor stormy Cape Horn stormy Cape Horn is in South America yeah so South America which led to the creation of Pakistan as a nation in 1947, religious difference between... Okay, so Pakistan and Bangladesh were actu are actually uh, were part of India before, okay? And this religious difference between Muslims and Hindus, okay? That's letter D. The answer here is letter D. Anyway, so the, the differences in uh, between Hindus and Muslims have caused the division of India into uh, Pakistan and India. There were two Pakistans before, the West Pakistan and East Pakistan. And West Pakistan is the present Pakistan. East Pakistan is not, is the present uh, Bangladesh, okay? And Bangladesh or the East Pakistan people or East Pakistanis felt that they were ignored by the West Pakistan, which was the home of the government of the Pakistan itself. So they declared independence from uh, Pakistan, and now they are called Bangladesh, okay? And both Pakistan and Bangladesh are Muslim countries, okay? So it's uh, religious differences between Hindus and Muslims. Next one. Which is common to Sun Yat-sen and Mahatma Gandhi. Sun Yat-sen is the natu nationalist uh, from China. And Mahatma Gandhi is an activist from India. 
Okay, promoted society ruled by religion. No, rejected violence. Okay, both they reject violence as a way to political power. Next one, Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar was the, to the Babylonian Empire as to Asoka was to Blank Empire. Okay, so it's Asoka was the grandson of Chandragupta Maurya. Okay, Chandragupta Maurya. So Asoka is uh, was to the Mauryan Empire. Okay, so that's letter D. Uh, anyway, Chandragupta Maurya was the founder of uh, Mauryan Empire or dynasty of India. Okay, there you go. Next one, which uh, with the op opposition of the parity rights in mind, who does not belong to the group? Okay, opposition of the parity rights in mind, who does not belong to the group? Okay. So, all of them are oppo opposition, but one is not, okay? It's, um, is it A, Claro M. Recto? B, uh, Jose P. Laurel? C, Manuel Rojas? And letter D, uh, Pedro Taruk? Which do you think? Okay. W but first, what's parity rights? Parity rights uh, refers to... An amendment to the Philippine Constitution granting the U.S. citizens equal rights with Filipinos to use or exploit natural resources of the Philippines. That's parity rights. Okay, it's an amendment to be done uh, on the Philippine Constitution, and all of them are opposition of to that uh, amendment except one. The answer here is Manuel Rojas. He was into it. Next. When the Filipino uh, reformists asked for the assimilation of the Philippines by Spain, what did they ask for? For the Philippines too? Okay, assimilation means to be part of. Become independent from Spain? No. Become a province of Spain? Yeah. It's letter B. Become a province. Independent from Spain? No. It's to become a province of Spain. Okay. Next, who among the presidents changed the date of our celebration of independence from July 4 to June 12? Okay, July 4, 1946, independence from the U.S. or the American, or the, yeah, and June 12, 1898, independence from the Spanish. Okay. Who do you think is that? It was just Dado Makapagal who made that, okay? He signed that into law. Okay. In which country did the Philippines participate in the world's peacekeeping operations by sending doctors, nurses, soldiers, and police? Israel, East Timor, Iraq, and Iran. Actually, both in Iraq and East Timor, the Philippines did that. Okay? It's B and C, actually. Next, which of the, uh, in which poem did Rizal write about offering one's life for one's country? It's his last farewell. Mi ultimo adios. That's letter D. Okay? As an effect of our geography, in which of the following island or islands do people travel mostly by water? Yeah. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Visayas, Mindanao. Mindanao and Luzon are mostly uh, vast uh, track of land where as Visayas is composed of different, uh, a lot of islands. So, mostly, of course, it's Visayas. People travel by uh, water. It's Visayas because it's made up of islands. Mindanao and Luzon are, are not that much into islands, okay? Both are land masses, Visayas and Mindanao, uh, Luzon and Mindanao. Next one, as an insular country, to which principles does the Philippines adhere when it comes to the territorial boundary? A, 200 nautical miles of country's coast. B, 200, 350 nautical miles from the shore. 3 mile territorial limit or archip archipelagic doctrine. So, it's in archipelagic doctrine. What does archip archipelagic doctrine says? I said, I say, I'm sorry. An archipelago shall be regarded as a single unit so that the waters are round between and connecting the islands regardless of their breadth and dimensions form part of the internal waters of the state and are subject to its ex exclusive sovereignty. Okay, so that's uh, archipelagic doctrine. That's where we base our territorial uh, territory, uh, defining our territory or territorial boundary. Okay.